Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Josephine and on this channel we talk about fragrances. Today's video is about 10 awesome vanilla scents. So we are in the fall or autumn time and what better than to wear vanilla fragrances. They're super cozy, really inviting and generally vanilla is an ingredient that is a really feel good scent. So I have 10 fragrances to share with you today. All of them are niche perfumes and I would like to say that most of them are very underrated. So if you'd like to discover new vanilla perfumes and you're a vanilla lover like I am, then make sure to keep on watching. All right, so I thought I would begin this list with my personal favorite, which is Angelique Noir by Guerlain. This fragrance is part of the L'Art et la Matière collection from Guerlain, so the higher range fragrance collection from the brand that celebrates beautiful raw materials. And they honestly have such phenomenal scents within that collection. But I have to say, Angelique Noir really stood out to me. It is such a unique and unusual vanilla scent. I believe there's another vanilla perfume, I think it's called Spiritueuse Vanille, if I'm not mistaken within the range, but Angelique Noir is the most interesting out of the two, especially when you're investing your money into higher end fragrances, you expect something that's a little bit different. So Angelique Noir is a green vanilla fragrance. So let me explain what that means. It's a vanilla perfume that has a prominent note of pear, which gives it sort of a green fruity juiciness. It's extremely unique. And what I find about the scent is that it's mysterious, it's very sensual, very womanly. This is a, a fragrance that is incredibly unique. If you're looking for a vanilla perfume that is out of the norm, totally different than what you can expect from other vanilla scents, check out Angelique Noir. The second fragrance is called Vangelis and it is by Sylvaine de la Courte. Sylvaine de la Courte, if I'm not mistaken, was the creative director at Guerlain and she created her own line of fragrances called Sylvaine de la Courte. So Sylvaine de la Courte is a brand that has three different ranges and within those ranges you have different fragrances. So there's a vanilla range, there's also a range around musks and another one around orange blossom. And you can very clearly see a sort of like a French savoir-faire, very refined fragrances across the different perfumes. So Vangelis is a fragrance within the vanilla range that really stood out to me. This fragrance essentially smells like a spiced vanilla chai latte with orange undertones. Very interesting perfume. You have lots of spices with some cinnamon, some cloves, some cardamom to really give it that chai latte feel and this beautiful vanilla that smells very natural. It's also very creamy, hence the chai latte feel, and it also feels woodsy. So on the skin, you get some vanilla, of course, but predominantly spices and woods. It's a very refined vanilla, I find. It's not a vanilla that is super sticky or super sweet. It's just done in a very lifted and elegant way. So if you're a fan of spices, chai latte, and vanilla, I recommend you check out Vangelis by Sylvain de la Courte. The third fragrance is called Guimauve de Noël by Parle-moi de Parfum. Parle-moi de Parfum is yet another niche brand that is totally underrated and they have really great fragrances, so I highly recommend you check them out. But Guimauve de Noël is very much the scent of a guimauve, like a French traditional guimauve. What is Guimauve, you may ask? It is marshmallow, but it's not like your industrial marshmallows, it's like your artisanal marshmallows. So it's very evocative for me personally, and it's also a really lovely scent. So, this is not a traditional marshmallow vanilla type of perfume. This fragrance is a neroli slash orange blossom fragrance that is sprinkled with powdered sugar. That is how I would describe the scent. It's actually extremely fresh. It feels quite natural as well. This is another one that has natural smelling ingredients. And that is what I get from the Neroli. But it is sweetened with this powdered sugar and vanilla, which makes it very gourmand and addictive. The next fragrance is called Bois Doré by Van Cleef and Arpel. I've actually included this fragrance within my top 10 autumn fragrances for women. I will link it down below if you're interested in watching that but it is certainly a fantastic vanilla perfume. 
This is a culinary vanilla and the way that I've described it in the past is it's a vanilla sponge cake with vanilla icing on top. So it's like Betty Crocker vanilla icing. This is what I get from the scent. It's very creamy, super edible. It's really beautiful, but it's not done in like a cheap way, in a way that is sickly. It's really beautiful and as really luxurious as a vanilla scent can go. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a luxurious perfume and it is expensive. And there's also some musk in this perfume that really lifts the composition and leaves such a beautiful lingering scent trail. This is a fragrance that will last a long time on your skin as well. It will leave an incredible, incredible sillage. It's one that, you know, will be extremely powerful. So if you want to embalm an entire room uh, and you want to be able to smell your fragrance throughout the day, even throughout your mask, check out Bois de Ré by Van Cleef & Arpen. After the culinary vanilla, we have a boozy vanilla. It is by the brand Elizabeth & James. It is called Nirvana Bourbon. Elizabeth & James is the Olsen's twin apparel brand and there are a few fragrances within this range, but Nirvana Bourbon is one that really, really stood out to me. I actually did a full blog post about this scent last year on my blog. I can link that down below as well. And it's a really unique perfume. So, a boozy vanilla. Yes, you heard me right. There is tuberose, there's oak and vanilla in this scent, and you get a very distinct bourbon feel from this perfume. So this perfume literally smells like aging whiskey in a barrel. So it's like soaking up all of the uh, essences from the wood, all of those aromas to create something that is very intriguing, very woodsy, and just an overall really interesting scent. I also get a bit of a cigar feel, like a masculine cigar note, kind of like a smokiness, which uh, is just very surprising. So I would say this is more of a unisex option just because of the cigar-like notes as well as the depth and the booziness of this perfume. So I think men can wear this perfume as well. So if you're a fan of boozy fragrances and you're specifically looking for a warm, cozy perfume that is unisex, which I think men can wear as well, try out Nirvana Bourbon by Elizabeth and James. Then we have a tropical vanilla perfume that is called Remember Me by Je Vois Paris. So it has this exotic tropical feel thanks to the notes of frangipani, which is an exotic flower that is so nice and that will bring you straight to the beach or a tropical island. And you also get some warmth and spiciness, kind of like another sort of chai latte feel that is so appropriate for the autumn time. So you get this contrast between sort of a summery feel and an autumnal feel, but ultimately this fragrance is honestly the best for the colder months. So autumn, fall, winter time. If you want a solid 10 out of 10 vanilla, spicy vanilla perfume, Lune Féline by Atelier des Ors. This fragrance is incredible. There are so many perfumes actually that have a similar vibe to this scent. There's a few from Penhaligans that have, have a similar feel to this, but they just don't beat this perfume. They just don't. It is incredible. This is a very high dose of cardamom mixed with vanilla. And I've described it in the past as it being a cardamom vanilla sponge cake. This is a perfume to make a statement. It's great to wear in the evening time if you're going out and you want people to notice you, this fragrance will do just that. It's super sexy, it's unisex, more on the feminine side. I think it's just a beautiful and very daring vanilla scent. So after having spoken about a very bold vanilla, if you want something that is more mellow, that is a really easygoing vanilla scent, I would recommend you go for Eau Duel by Diptyque. I've tested two versions of Eau Duel. You have the Eau de Toilette and then the Eau de Parfum. But the one that I'm recommending to you today is the Eau de Parfum. I just find that it's a bit more interesting than the Eau de Toilette. Although the Eau de Toilette is beautiful, it's you know a light mist of vanilla, I find that the Eau de Parfum has a bit more charisma to it. I get quite a bit of Ambroxan as well in this scent 
which again will make it more likable in my opinion. So Eau Duel is a super easygoing vanilla scent. It's really inoffensive. It smells very good. It's not a perfume that is overly sickly sweet. In fact, actually all the fragrances that I talked about today are not fragrances that are gonna give you a headache. They just are blended so, so well and just, you'll love them. <laughs> if you love vanilla and you don't like sticky perfumes, I can tell you the fragrances I'm talking about today, you will really enjoy. So with Eau Duel Eau de Parfum, it is very easygoing, very chilled, natural smelling vanilla and it's done at a diptyque. They do their fragrances in a very artistic, bohemian manner. So this is sort of a bohemian vanilla, I would say, very chilled and laid back. So if you want some, if you want to just throw on something that will smell good with some vanilla that's not going to be too intoxicating and too in your face, Eau Duel, the Eau de Parfum is so, so beautiful. The ninth scent that we have is called Vanille Bergeoin by Affinescence. So Vanille Bergeoin is a very smooth and natural smelling vanilla perfume, completely different to the Diptyque. Diptyque is again more artsy and more chill and laid back, whereas with Vanille Bergeoin, it is a very balmy vanilla. And the way that I can describe this scent to you is that it smells literally like you were scraping a vanilla pod. So it's dry, it's woodsy, and not too sweet again it's just very natural smelling so again i think this is a fragrance for those of you who are looking for a very refined vanilla scent but you don't want to walk around smelling like a vanilla cake <laughs> this is more of your natural vanilla it's very well blended and what i will say with affinescence fragrances is that they last for an extremely long time i highly recommend you check out this fragrance they also have 50 ml bottles which recently launched which thankfully are much more affordable than the 100 ml so i highly recommend you check out affinescence vanille bergeoin is fabulous and the last vanilla scent on this list is of course vanilla vibes by juliet has a gun i adore this perfume so much this is a salty vanilla scent it smells like a holiday this is the beach in a bottle not really appropriate to wear during the autumn time if it's super cold this is a vanilla fragrance that is appropriate to wear in the summertime it smells super balmy it immediately will take you to the beach at the end of the day it's 5 p.m you're tanning you're looking all golden and beautiful and like you have salt in your hair this is what this fragrance is about I love actually layering this perfume. I layer it with uh, Hibiscus Palm by Erin, which is a beautiful exotic floral scent for women. It is stunning. This perfume isn't anything that is super complex, but it's interesting because of this salty note. So that was Vanilla Vibes by Juliet Has a Gun. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.